Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lori with Simple Suburban Homestead. Um, tonight, I'm gonna try to candle my 10 quail eggs that are going on lockdown. First off, I prefer the HB Life Egg Candler. It has a tip on the end that you can take off, which is really good for your quail eggs. And then it has the regular size for chickens or duck eggs. Um, this process is kind of quick because we want to make sure that um, the eggs are not left uncovered very long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the lid and always when you're candling, try to set your lid on a flat surface. That way the heat and the humidity with the um, motor in it stays somewhat the same and there's not a lot of air going up underneath it. There will be air getting in the bottom but it kind of holds it, it regulates it a little bit better that way. I'm going to um, take the lid off and I'm gonna remove the turner in here. First off, I'm going to, actually, my turner light already turned off because today was the day that um, they would no longer be turning. So I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna remove the egg turner and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of the non-skid um, stuff you can get from Walmart and the roll or the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And this helps the chicks as they hatch to keep um, their grips as they're learning to walk and it helps to prevent against splay leg. So you always wanna have a towel nearby or something soft that you can lay your eggs on. And when I candled these last week, for quail eggs, they go on lockdown day 14. And when I candled these last week, last week, I had 16 eggs and I already discarded six of them that were not fertile. So tonight we're just gonna make sure that everybody looks developed to the same level and that they're ready for lockdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the lid. And I'm gonna remove my turning tray. This incubator, this tray is really tight. Do it the safe way. Remove my eggs since I only have 10. Can do this fairly quickly. This is the hardest it's ever been. There we go. Get off. Gonna put this down and then I'm going to Put my eggs back in here. Now, when you're candling eggs, you always want to candle from your air cell end. That's the fat end of the egg. You should have a white air cell. I'm gonna turn all these guys like this. And my daughter's going to zoom in and I'm gonna try not to lift the eggs while I'm candling them. And that way there's no mess ups on the filming. Quail eggs are very tiny, so they're much harder to see, but what we should see is a solid end with the fatter end being more um, clear. I'm gonna turn the light off and turn my candler on. Just give it a minute to, is it adjusted? Can you see the eggs? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay if you can see that, we have a very good air cell and we have a dark egg. So that one looks really good. Here again, we have a very good air cell with a dark egg. Again, no sign of a blood ring. If you had a blood ring, oh, I can already see this one without even getting on it. White with dark or clear with dark. It wants to be trans, pretty transparent at the back end. If you had a blood ring, you would have a red, very bright red ring normally, or maybe a dark, dark red ring. All these babies look to be so far so good. We have two left. Oh, that's a good air cell. Can you see that, Sarah? No. Are you getting anything? Let me see if I can do it like this. Can you see that? Can you see the air cell? Nothing at all. 
it blurry? Could you see any of them lying down here? Yeah. It's okay, keep going. There we go, and this is the last one. Everybody looks good. Everybody looks very good. I'm gonna turn that off, turn the light back on, hold with me in case it gets a little blurry for a minute. And we're gonna cover back up. I only dropped a 36% humidity and my um, temperature is still reading 99.5. For this particular incubator, I set it at 101 um, because it tends to run low in the temperature. So now we're gonna take, on this incubator, we're gonna take the other side cover off of the incubator. And so far we've had water only in one side. And now the humidity in it was about 52 when I started tonight. So it only dropped into the 30, so that's fine. It's already back up over 40. And we're gonna fill both sides. Both of these trays are gonna be full. And hopefully we're gonna get this humidity into the mid 60s to the low 70s for the next two days. And then we should have babies coming. Um, we should have pips day after tomorrow and we should have babies on day 17. So sometimes we have babies on day 16, you never know. Anyway, this is how we do it with the Nurture Right 360 and these are our babies and hopefully the video wasn't too um, blurry for you or if it was that you went ahead and followed us through to the end. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. hope it's been informative and we'll talk again soon. Thank you. God bless.